Hi everyone, this is Tamil Chilvan, Western Professor, Department of BPA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women, Thirichangode. We today we discuss about the topic for cost accounting in stock level. There are five types of stock level. One is for maximum level, second one is for minimum level, third one is for reorder level, fourth one is for average level, then fifth one is for danger level. The first point maximum level. It is the quantity of material beyond which a firm should not exceed in stock. If the quantity exceeds the maximum level limit, then it will be termed as overstocking. Then the formulas for maximum stock level equal to reorder level plus reorder quantity minus minimum consumption into minimum reorder period. Then next we discuss about minimum level. It represents the quantity that must be maintained in hand at all times. If the stocks are less than the minimum level, then the work will stop due to shortage of material. Minimum stock level equal to reorder level minus normal or average consumption into normal or average reorder period. Then next we discuss about reorder level. When the quantity of material reaches a certain level, then fresh order is sent to procure material again. The order is sent before the material reach the minimum stock level. The formula of reorder level equal to maximum consumption rate into maximum reorder period or minimum level plus normal or average consumption into normal or average reorder period. Then next we discuss about average stock level. It is the level of an average of minimum level and maximum level. It means the average level is maintained in state. Average stock level equal to minimum level plus maximum level minimum level divided by 2. Then the fifth point danger stock level. This is the level below the minimum stock level. When a stock reaches this level, immediate action is need to take for the replacement of stock. Danger level is equal to average rate of consumption into urgent supply time. Then next we discuss about methods of material pricing issue. In the topic we can discuss FIFO. It means first in first out and the next one is for LIFO last in first out. Or the method used in cost of goods sold calculation. FIFO it means first in first out. Assume that the oldest product in a company inventory have, have been sold first and goes by those production cost. Then next some advantages for FIFO method. It is a are issued on the basis of purchase. It is very simple and easy to understandable. The closing inventory is valued at the current level price. Then next we discuss about LIFO method. LIFO means lost in first out method. Assume that the most recent product in a company inventory have been sold first and uses those cost in sin. Again I repeat the LIFO lost in first out method. Assume that the most recent product in a company inventory have been sold first and uses those cost in sin. Then next is some advantages about FIFO. This method is suitable for time period when the price is rising. It is easy to understandable. This lead minimal unrealized gain. Then thank you for watching this video.